what's going on guys, it's Lee from My Started a Joke. Now some of you may or may not know that my cousin, Rafael, aka the Scab Garcia, is incarcerated right now for something that we do not believe he did. As a matter of fact, a lot of people do not believe that he did this horrendous crime. So, I'm Innocent Magazine, that's right, I'm Innocent Magazine, reached out to us and said they wanted to do an interview with him and maybe publish an article, you know, proclaiming his innocence. So we said, okay, I'm in some magazine, go ahead, interview him, but first send us the footage of the raw interview before you publish any article about my cousin. That way we could check it out and, you know, and fill it out and see if, you know, we want to let them publish the article. So this is going to be my first time watching it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, here's my cousin Raphael. Here's the story. Once again, Grace Mitchell here with I Am Innocent Magazine. This time with an exclusive interview from Behind the Bars with Rafael, aka the Scab Garcia, who many believe is innocent, and we would love to publish his story. Here is a raw interview. All right, setting everything up. The microphone set, everything set. All right, everything's ready to go. I've been waiting here for two hours, and I still can't bring him in. I do not get paid enough for this. Oh shoot, they're bringing him in. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Hi, uh, Rafael Garcia? That, that's me. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm okay. Chill, my dude. Chill. It, it's fine, it's Chill. fine. Chill, my dude. Chill. That's me. Okay. So, what's the next question now? So, first things first, how's. Present life treating you. First of all, I, I'm in county. I'm not in Oh, I, I, I apologize. I thought you've done this before. All right, well, how's jail treating me? Um, let's put it this way. I have to wake up in the morning with a sharpened pencil on my butt for protection just so mm -hmm. nobody will come around and uh, try mm -hmm. to take my cheeks. You're, you're, I'm, I'm sorry, your, your my, cheeks? My cheeks. My cheeks. As in, um, I'm confused. As in cheeks oh um now Raphael, would you consider yourself a dangerous person to society do i look like a dangerous person to society i mean i just as you know tattoos and grace is it yes grace you're a racist um i'm sorry I, you don't I'm like sorry. mexicans i do apologize if i said anything against you to anger you i am just here to do the interview and hear your side of the story so i'm gonna go ahead and take that as a no yes great so take that as a no what would <coughs> you consider your daily life to be look you know how many times they had to replace my uh my my little get up here you see you see the dlc like sometimes I like to get a little sharp and put D O E for you know, uh, Department of Erections. Erections. You knew I was going yes. with that. You know, you know right, I was going yes. with that. Okay, <laughs> I'm not original, I guess. So let's go ahead and talk about the Diaz brothers and the, Shiloh. The Diaz, Shiloh. Their dog. They said I killed the dog too. The Diaz brothers. Okay, the only Diaz brothers I know is the UFC fighters. Grace, Grace, I'm guessing you're trying to ask me if I did it or not. Right. Is this not I'm Innocent Magazine that you want to publish this article about? Correct. I did not kill the Diaz brothers. But you were involved in somewhat of the crime. Have you ever had a mushroom stuck up your butt? Can Don't drop the soap. Uh, Rafael, um, I appreciate it. We just stay on topic. All right, all right. Back on topic. The Diaz brothers. Diaz brothers. Isn't one of them like suspended still for for you to see for um smoking weed? Rafael, I like to stay on topic about the actual case. Okay, um, so enough with, uh, enough games. Now, Innocent Magazine would like to ask you a few questions about the case and how you were involved, or how you say the police believe you were involved, and you were here. To I'm the one that called the police. I'm the one that that saw them two brothers. And call the police. I didn't see no dog. So what exactly were you doing at 3 a.m. walking around the Sunflower Boulevard, where the Diaz brothers live, right around the corner from there, and the crime scene was? Seems like you're reading off a teleprompter. Like, uh, spit it out. How did you stumble across the bodies? 
is what everybody really wants to know. I'm sorry if I was being rude. I didn't mean to be rude. It's so I'm walking down the street and get some fresh air. Because as you know, this corona stuff is no joke. So right. I was getting the fresh air. Uh, I try to go out when no one else is out. Uh, I don't want to get infected. Mm -hmm. Okay, with anything, I don't want nothing to mess up, you know, my life, what I got going for me, all right? I, you know, I'm a great citizen of the United States, and uh, <laughs> not to mention I was drunk. And you were also out past curfew, but I'm continuing. Of all the things that I was looking for, that night, that morning at 3 a.m., two dead bodies was not one of them. Sure, I was going here and there looking for some hookers. <laughs> sure, I was going left and right. Looking to get a BJ? Is that a crime? Uh, yes, it actually is a crime here in this state. I don't know if you're aware of that. I didn't I kill anybody. That's what we're here to prove. That you are innocent. And I love dogs. You see that teardrop right there? Yes. That's for that dog they say that I killed. But you had mentioned earlier that you did not know about no dog. I'm confused. What? Yeah, my lawyer told me that I advised that I shut my mouth. So just an off-topic question um, that everybody yeah. is curious about. Off topic, why, like why do they call you the scab? Why do they call me the scab? See that scar, Mija? Oh, yes. See this scar right there? Sure. The scab was a childhood nickname that the kids gave me in the neighborhood. Um, uh, just another off-topic question. And it kind of looks like your tattoo woke is melting a little bit. Yeah, I gotta get my celly to fix that. Do y'all just help each other out, or is there? Are you calling me a homosexual? N n I mean, it, the balls in your court. Really, the balls are in my court. Hey, can I get another interviewer up here? I uh, know he he he. I'm I'm sorry. We can start all this over. Um, I apologize. It came out wrong. Grace Grace Mitchell, is it? Yes. I have a question for you. Louise made me look smarter. I'm trying to stay on topic here. When I go to court, will these help the jury come to the conclusion that I did not kill the Diaz brothers? And now or the dog? Now that I do look at it, yes, you can, you can go ahead and just add those to go and help yourself out. You're going to need the help. Can I go ahead and have my glasses back? So we were aware that you have three kids, correct? Don't bring up my kids. I'm just, Don't bring up my kids. Yeah, three kids. Madison, Allison, and Galladin. But I thought you didn't want me mentioning your kids. I was, I was just kidding. That, that was a joke. I'm an inspiring actor. Are you allowed to have that, Sharpie? You'd be surprised what fits up there. Okay, back to topic. Um, so you're trying to make it into acting. How is that going? About as well as my cousin's YouTube channel is going. <laughs> Your go. cousin's YouTube channel? Yeah, my cousin, my cousin LSL, for stupid, stupid than me. A lot of people always get us mixed up, but that's why I went out and got the scab, cause uh, that nigga ain't the scab. He, I mean, he's got the vagina between his legs. You about to say something? No. I hate LSL. Sucks. <laughs> I seen one of his videos one time. He like shaved his head off. Stupid. So I am innocent. Magazine believes that you are innocent. Your family believes that you're innocent. No, at least that doesn't. I myself believe that you're innocent. Yeah. Yeah, girl. No, no, no. Um, no. Um, I did that wrong. No, I did that wrong. no, no. I'm sorry. Um. It's just been a while since I've seen a woman, talked to a woman, felt a woman. How long have you been in county? <sighs> Three months in county. So three months exactly or three months 27 days 64 seconds 65 okay. 66 right 67 um, I, 68. I, I understand when you were walking down the street and you found the ds brothers what exactly made you want to call the police two dead bodies would you not call the police i call the cops because it's the right thing to do cops come on the scene and what they do, they arrest me. Charge me with two counts of capital murder. I'm, I'm sorry to hear about that. Truth be told, once I threw the meth pipe under the bush and walked down the street and saw the two bodies laying on the floor, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. 
Okay, I grew up in the ghetto. I grew up, you know, around all kinds of craziness. We actually look it up on um, your information and it says you grew up in the suburbs and your mother is white and your dad is Mexican, I believe. Exactly. Craziness. Both I am Innocent Magazines. I do appreciate you, you know, accepting my interview. Are you okay? Is everything fine? Finish your question. So we do appreciate that you took the time, you know, to accept it. Yeah, because I know your schedule is pretty busy. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a joke? Was that supposed to be a joke? Um, uh, by the way, uh, we're innocent magazine, or is it I'm innocent? Wait, which one is it? I'm innocent. Yeah. Uh, is what's this going? TMZ is gonna be inside a magazine. Am I going on TV? Am I gonna be on Geraldo? Jimmy it's, Kimmel? It's gonna, it's gonna be out there to show the people, you know. Yeah. Yeah. The story from another accused Hispanic, you know, being accused of killing two brothers, <laughs> and then what a Chihuahua. How exactly did you know what kind of dog it was? It. It but it was on the news. It has not been released yet. As far as I know, them Diaz brothers, they love Chihuahuas. Next question. Um, so we do have, uh, you know, another question for you. What color panties you wearing? If, or please stay on the subject. If you do are proven, you know, you are. Got you stuttering over there, huh? No, no. <laughs> Grace. I'm Raphael. So if you are proven innocent by the jury <laughs> and the state, what are your plans when you get released? If I get released? You mean when I get released? Whenever I get released, I'm going to keep being the scab, the nightcrawler, the man in the dark, the man of mystery, steals from the rich, gives to the poor. That's the scab for you. That's the scab. Are you scared? No, I'm actually not one bit. Okay. But this was one of your most uh, interesting uh, uh, interviews, right? I'm um, Missy Magazine? Um, no, not really. I've been working with this company for two years, so I've seen a lot worse. But I'm, I'm you know, I'm flattered that you thought it's okay. my work was it's okay. But I'm getting out. I'm gonna be out. Garden, can I get a, can you give me a smoke, please? Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Look, I'm finna blow the lid off this place, yo. Like, my celly has told me everything that he's done. And I'm snitching. I'm rat tat tatting Takashi ain't got none on the snitching I'm about to do. Right. I'm going to sing like a bird. This is good. I know who killed Free Diaz, you. brothers. Okay. Why do you think I got the woke tattoo on me? I know who killed Diaz, brothers. So if you can tell us a little bit more about... Who not believe it? Jay-Z and Beyonce are federal agents. Oh. They ain't even married. They're working with the feds. <laughs> Yo, 6 9 was just the beginning. He's nothing, all right? Because once they caught the scab, that's when they really got caught the gold. The gold? Me, bitch! Hold up. I, I'm sorry, you, who, who, who are you calling that? You got, you got that smoke for me? Thank you. Listen, Grace. I didn't kill them Diaz brothers. Show didn't kill that Chihuahua. But I didn't say nothing. Cause I ain't no snitch. You heard about Takashi? I heard you told on everybody. Me, I keep it straight for always in front of Okay, you ain't the first or the last interviewer that's gonna come see me, but I do want you to know that you got gold here. If not gold, you got platinum. You got to talk to the scab. He must have got promoted or some something. So okay, just wrapping the interview up, Rafael Garcia. I appreciate it. You call me the scab. I'll stick with Rafael. We do believe that we can beat this case. We do believe that we can help you, and we believe that you are innocent. We we do. I I thank you for that. Time to go. Yeah. Yeah. Not a snitch. Hopes for you. Not a snitch at all. Okay. All right. Damn, you, thank you. Damn so thank hard. you so much. We're gonna fight this, and we're going to beat this. Thank you. Yeah, this nigga's guilty. He's going he's going to prison. Yeah, thank you very much. Put some respect on my name while you're at it.